So we have five brand new knives to check out for the first time. And this is the Orion from Max Ace. It does come with all extra hardware or a bunch of extra hardware. And here she is. We'll get right to it. The Max Ace Orion. This beautiful satin finished Magna Cut Blade with a clip point blade uh, shape and a titanium frame lock with a full titanium backspacer. I like the way they did the lanyard um, hole and then a titanium milled pocket clip. Um, not sure if it's titanium hardware. I would guess it is. Yeah, it seems like it's titanium hardware. Um, the flipper tab, it, it's a large flipper tab, but works great and it's not like a super strong detent but it's also not light like a lot of people would probably consider this really close to perfect if not perfect i can easily push button it and rapidly deploy it or light switch it both are equally as comfortable and the detent's not so strong that i can't reverse flick off of the blade finish um the finish on the titanium is a stone washed finish. I really like this stone washed finish. Feels really good in the hand. Uh, the jimping though, eh, non-existent. Might as well not even be there. The jimping on the flipper tab, doesn't matter if it's there or not. The flipper tab just works great regardless. Um, it's a big knife. It's a big knife. And yeah, it's uh, pretty damn slicey. You know, it, it looks really good. Um, I definitely like it. And, you know, with Magna Cut full titanium frame lock with extra hardware, and check this out, the, the steel lock bar inserts polished, and there is an extra one that's already polished. That's kind of cool, um, and it's really easy access, good access to the lock bar. Very comfortable disengagement. They left plenty and they put a chamfer there. No texturing, but it doesn't really need it. But this is all for under $200. It's like under... Like it's like 188 or something. Um, so not a bad price, you know, considering um the materials. Now they're magnet cut, I believe it's 60 HRC. I would prefer it to be a bit higher, like two points higher at the very least. Um, if not three points. The clip, the clip works good. Yeah, I'm wearing my thick jeans too. Very cool. Uh I, let me feel it again because I did feel a little... Yeah, no, no problems with the clip at all. Very good clip. My biggest complaint would be the sharpening troll and plunge grind as almost usual. Um, you know, but it's fine. I mean, you, you're going to get probably a few... You're going to get a couple sharpenings in there before it really widens up or before you hit the plunge grind. It's got a nice sound to it too. Nice smack. Oh, <laughs> smack my damn tripod. Uh, other than that, other than, you know, like maybe you could put a larger uh, plunge or a larger choil or move the plunge grind back. Um, the only other thing is yeah, I wish the HRC was a little bit higher on the magnet cut. But, you know, for under 200 bucks, it's still going to hold a good edge. It's just not going to take, the, um, take and hold the most incredible edges uh, for a, as long as it possibly could. Otherwise, Max Ace seems to try to go for toughness. I'm not saying that that's a good argument for having low HRC, but they tend to go down that route. There is no milling on the inside, so it definitely has some weight, but I actually like it. I like the weight. So let's get to the next one. Now, the next one is the Vanguard Cheetah. And it has M390 steel titanium handle um, designed and made by Tuya Knives. And I got to say, I really, really like this one. I do have one complaint that we'll get to. But we have, like I said, an M390, what looks like a hand satin finished blade, crowned spine, um, nice thinness behind the edge, titanium frame lock with the carbon fiber insert. I believe there's other versions though, full titanium backspacer, titanium mill pocket clip. The cutout is on the inside. Good job with that. Um, we do have lock bar access and there's nice texturing. And these are like my favorite thumb studs right here. These are the thumb studs I pretty much say should be on just about everything. They're proud. 
They are very well textured. They basically grip you back when you flick them. They're very comfortable, easy to use. Um, they can, in some cases, be sharp. These are not sharp though. These are perfect, like literally perfect. This is my favorite thumb studs. I do like the pivot too. The pivot kind of looks cool. Got a nice little design there. But the ergonomics and the size of it is just a great size uh, for EDC. You can easily do pinch grips. You're going to be able to slice really good. You can cut straps. Gas station knife fighting grip is good. Um, it's got great balance. The action is stupid good. Um, you know, it's not the most false shut action, but it's also still breaking in. But it is very, very smooth. But that thumb stud deployment, man, that thing the wax out there and i like that okay i just dripped some kpl on the detent ball and this thing has gotten a lot smoother so yeah this thing once it breaks in it's going to be extremely extremely smooth i really only have one i have two negatives two negatives one being the pocket clip i like that he did the cutout on the inside I really like that, but what I don't like is the way it functions. I've put it in and out of the pocket, and it is entirely way too tight. Um, there's not enough spring because the pocket clip's so short. If it was up to, like, right here, maybe it would have more spring, but it just does not have any spring to it. It's like... It's just like super solid. So I would prefer to have some bounce and some spring so we can easily go into the pocket, you know, nice and smoothly in and out of the pocket. So um, the next thing is the plunge grind and sharpening choil. They did not give you anything. Um, you, you're going to get maybe one sharpening and you'll probably hit the plunge grind. When you do that, they did put the stop pin back there. Now it is back here. So technically you can cut in a choil in front of the plunge grind if you wanted to. So um, normally I prefer the stop pin not to be back there, but in this case it's fine, you know, because you have room still. But I would prefer them to just do a good plunge grind and sharpening choil right from the start so that I don't have to worry about cutting my own choil in, you know, after, you know, sharpening it. Because when I do sharpen it, it's going to hit the plunge grind and, you know, create a smile. And it's, you know, it's unavoidable. Next, we have two Migarons. The Migaron Parism. Parism? Yeah, for $30, for $30, you're getting a, basically just a straightforward budget knife, you know, um, nothing really special here, but what do you expect? You know, 30 bucks, I want a quality knife. And we have rock solid lockup, no detent lash, nice snappy action, D2 steel, obviously we have two different color options here. Um, yeah, nice and solid drop point blade. This one has like the titanium nitride coating. And then this one has like a PVD coating, um, G10 scales straight back on the handle. The blade is a drop point. So very ergonomic. This is definitely one you can use in lots of grips. Great balance. Um, you know, you do have a nice choil. They did a good job there started the plunge grind here, ended it there. So you have plenty of life to sharpen off. Um, you know, relatively thick blade stock, uh, but you know, not thick behind the edge, or at least not, it's it's a little bit thick, not, not like crazy thick, it's a little bit more robust, but a lot of knives like this are going to be used a little bit tougher, so the people that are going to be beating on these will probably want just a little bit, exactly how this is, <laughs> thickness behind the edge, uh, because you don't want something too thin that's fragile, but you don't want something too thick that's not going to cut and be difficult to sharpen. This is not that. It'll be easy to sharpen and you know, it will cut just fine. G10 seems like good quality, deep carry clip, not reversible. And I do see T6 hardware. Um, like I said, the ergos are great. This blade shape is going to work good for just about everything. Um, good access to the lock bar, nice chamfer. Now, as far as nitpicks and negatives, my only thing I could say is uh, the clip could be reversible. T8 hardware would be nice. Um, I'd love to see, I would have loved to have seen this with like a, a 14C or something, but hey, for 30 bucks, I'm not complaining. D2 is just fine, you know, with $30. I say basically like 
50 and under, 45 and under for D2 is a good steel. You know, it's gonna hold a good edge. And then we have the Mig the new Migoron Moyaro. I freaking love this knife. I do have one complaint, but damn it, is this a great knife. Beautiful handset and drop point finished blade, M390 steel, heavy micro milling on the titanium that in my opinion looks gorgeous uh carbon fiber inlays the cut or it's the uh the aluminum carbon fiber inlays uh titanium backspacer and pocket clip great access to the lock bar and the whole deployment my goodness great detent super snappy i mean yeah this is nice I, I've always loved the Moyaro, whether it's the, pr the this premium version or the original one, which actually is a budget knife. So you can get this in a budget knife. I think they have liner locks and crossbar locks. Am I correct about that? Um, I might be wrong, but they do have some 14C28M versions. Um, I personally love it. Like I said, I think it's one of the better budget knives you can get. Um, ergonomics are just so good. The way this um, rounds right here, it goes right in your palm really nicely and you can choke up. Pinch grips are gonna be good. You can turn it around and cut straps. Access to lock bars, perfect. Very, very smooth. I love the sound of the detent. The thumb and the reverse flick are equally as good. So whether you like the thumb or reverse flick, both of them are perfect. Uh, my biggest complaint, or my basically my only complaint, is this clip, man. They dropped it right on top of these cutouts. This is horrendous. I hate that. I hate it, hate it, hate it. I wish they did a different pocket clip or just put these damn cutouts on the inside. This is, I just did a complaint about this on another video, so I'm not going to go too crazy about this because, you know, this came so fast after that, you know, they didn't have a chance to even hear me, but I, man, I would totally prefer this clip to be um, not on top of this and, you know, it just makes it so it's hard to, to put in the pocket. And if the excuse is, well, these knives are for you know, gent carry or office carry or whatever, basically in slacks, you know, um, I would say, uh, no, <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, this is a titanium knife and M390 steel. You're using premium user, user materials. And, you know, even if you want to say that, well, uh, people want to carry that type, those type of materials in the office too. Yeah. But I would say 80 to 90% of all their buyers wear jeans they're blue collar workers or, or whatever but they they wear jeans um very few of them are going to be wearing slack so if that is the argument they need to make a statement about that so everybody buying their knives can stop if if they're going to continue to do clips like this uh because it, it yeah it just it just doesn't work it doesn't work in and out of jeans that uh that are thicker or you know, just period man you don't want you don't want your your ramp on top of these this is sharp anyways um I, i'm not going to continue uh you know beating it up uh beating a dead horse i do like that oh no is that t6s or t8s i think that's a t8 yeah t8 hardware all the way around it looks like except for the steel lock bar insert which is fine all in all i do really 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 like this knife um so, you know, man, I just, I wish the clip was different, but you know, hey, it doesn't stop it from being an amazing knife. 200 and I think like right around 200, it's a little over 200 bucks, which is not too bad for the materials and everything. So there you guys go. Just a quick look at five new knives. Work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.